So I got another one here to do this afternoon, this evening. It's uh, like six o'clock. I don't want to be here, but whatever. I got a backup refrigerator not working. Self-contained, I guess. Let's go see what's up. So after checking with the manager, uh, they sent me to the Starbucks area where they have this tiny little cooler. Little Delfield, under counter, reach in. Tiny little self-contained. R290. Which I don't have refrigerant for. So I start looking it over, and it sure is dented. You know, it's got some dents. The compressor's running. It's running hot. Everything is ambient. It's not discharging warm air. And look what I found. They've done it. They, they look. They've done it. One can only guess and imagine. But I see oil. See that oil? Not there. That's oil. Nitrogen gauges, liquid bubbles, and of course, always a good idea to have these things because, uh, well, you never know when you're gonna need them, and they're only like three bucks. One of the things I love the most about them is that they they provide you with a free one eighth of an inch Allen wrench in each package. But I never use these as a permanent solution. I only use them temporarily and then take them off. But you gotta find the right uh, adapter for it and it actually hooks into the bottom when it connects and pops into place. And then you wanna thread these in real easily. Make sure you don't cross thread them. It's real easy to cross thread these. Don't cross thread them. And get them on there all the way tight until the top and the bottom fully seat together all around all three sides. And once it gets to where it fully seats down, You'll, you'll know. And then once you get everything connected, you take your little Allen wrench and you turn this all the way down until it seats down at the bottom. It's down at the bottom and then you turn it back Two full turns. And man, yeah, we've lost some pressure. We've only got three PSI. So I got my nitrogen here and my old beat up pressure gauge, and I'm gonna pressurize it and look for a leak on that condenser coil. And yeah, I know I didn't have to look very long. But it's right there, right where it was bent. I don't really think this is worth trying to, trying to make a repair on. Too much liability. You try to repair it and then you call it good and then something happens. It's not even really your fault. It's just too much liability. So here's some more details on that little BPV31 by Subco. It's got three little Allen head screws that that squeeze the pipe. So if you got 3 8 pipe, you just use this with no of the adapters, but the adapters they hook on to the bottom piece with that little that little stud. And that's how you adapt for 5 16 or for quarter inch. And these things are awesome because you get a free Allen wrench. And if, in case you didn't know, this Allen wrench fits most of your Evaporator fan blades, it fits a lot of things in the commercial refrigeration world. And you want to tighten it down until there's no gap at all between the top and the bottom. And you never really want to use this for a permanent repair. You never want to leave it on there. Always take it off when you're done and then, and then put some solder over your hole. I like to make it, you know, incredibly difficult for them to plug it in like you'd really have to do some work to plug this one in you really got to be stupid now most of the time searching up parts is, is not hard Google does a great job finding things you just got to know where to look with Dell field Dell field always has parts manuals and a good place to find part manuals for Dell field is parts town you go to the manuals and you click it download it open it up 
find what you're looking for. In this case, it's right there. Now here we got two condenser coil options. You can see the one on the top of the two is for R290. And so off that part manual, I get a part number 3518591. And then I also wanna get that little R290 liquid line dryer, which is a 3516352. So this particular job's got an NTE on the invoice of $2,000. So I think I can get a coil replaced. I don't think they should only be like a couple hundred bucks and it only take me like an hour or two to do it. So I can do all that well under the, the $2,000. So get with United, give them my part numbers, tell them to order it, which I did that already last week and they forgot to order it. So I went in there yesterday, and I told them, hey, man, where's my order? And they're like, oh. And they start typing. I don't know. I can have it here. I can have it here if Thursday. Okay, whatever, man. So if they've done their job, then uh, I should have my coil, my dryer, and my little 14 ounce of uh, R290. Should be ready for pickup tomorrow. If so, hopefully I can go install it, be in and out, you know, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. Make a video for you guys, upload it, and I'll see y'all then. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.